What's up everybody, King of Homer here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. For those of you who are Patreons, you are getting this video earlier than everyone else on YouTube, and this is probably going to be a beneficial one. So we're going to be talking about ordinals today. Ordinals are sort of flying right now. We're looking at Clay Pepe's, and we're going to talk about a few others that could also pop off soon here. Uh, now, if you watched my live stream yesterday, I actually mentioned on my live stream that I did pick up a Clay Pepe, pretty much half of the price of what it is right now. And they are currently being scooped up at 0 .001 so far at the kind of floor price. We'll see if it continues. Now, why did I pick Clay Pepe's out of all of the other ordinals that are out there? Well, if you take a look at the collections right here on ordinalswallet.com, um, what I like to look at is uh, sort of two things. I like to look at the volume to see kind of how much trading has been going on over the past seven days. If the volume is basically nothing, then I ignore the coin uh, or I ignore the, um, the, the uh, ordinal collection, the NFT, whatever you want to call it. Um, so another thing to look at is the floor price. Uh, the floor price should make sense compared to the supply. So if your supply is astronomically large and your floor, floor price is also a little bit too big, then you might be in for a not such a good deal. So for example, right here, I think Bitcoin frogs right here, this is quite a large supply and that's quite a um, hefty price for that supply right there. So um, that's not a coin that I picked up. Now that doesn't mean Bitcoin frogs is bad. It doesn't mean it's unfair, uh, but just to me, um, there's a lot cheaper options right now, and there's a lot of other um, growth opportunity for some of these other coins. So uh, Clay Pepe's was one that I looked at. I said, hmm, you know, this supply is really, really low, only 3000 and they were going at about this price yesterday, 0 0.004, 0 0.005. Now, this isn't updated. Their floor is uh, pretty much double that right now. As we can see right here, their floor is uh, pretty much double with its, what it says right there. Um, so scooping up some of these, and if Ordinals continues to take off, you have to realize that some of these OG ordinals are going to be the ones that um, you know hold value more than some of the newer stuff that comes out. So Clay Pepe's is definitely one that was on my radar, and I did scoop up a bunch more of these things on the on the come up. Like in the past hour, it's been going up quite a bit. Another one that looks really good that I might actually purchase live on this video is going to be uh, Pixel Moo Moo's. Let's see if Pixel Moo Moo's. Yeah, this price makes sense to me for Pixel Moo Moo's point, about point zero zero four. So if we go take a look and see what it is on, on the inside, there's only uh, 1,563 of these things. So if I open this up, and uh, point zero zero six, so it's a little bit higher right now, but I still think that that might be um, sort of fair uh, because the supply is very very low for Pixel Moo Moos as well. But again, this is just <laughs> sort of a, a big guess as to what's going to happen. Uh, very very high speculation right there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see if that ends up being a good buy or not. But that's those are the kind of the, the details that I look at for these things as far as can they be good flips later on. Now. Another thing to keep in mind, guys, is there might be a lot more collections that come out. And this isn't the only uh, marketplace out here. So Ordinal's Wallet is one of them. I think there's, um, what's the other one called? It's, it's in here. Magic Eden is another one. And then you have Unistat. Um, so there's a lot of other marketplaces that lists more stuff. Um, so do keep that in mind. This is not all of the... Uh, encompassing or no connect uh, collections right here nft collections on bitcoin right here but uh it's just the one that i'm sort of messing around with and you can look at some more of these things too and kind of come up with your own own conclusions about what they are and lastly guys don't get scammed if you do find a collection on here make sure that the collection is linked to a particular website or twitter or um, social media discord if they don't have links then you're likely buying something that is not going to be a uh, uh, moving anytime soon and and yeah it does matter because like if if your volume is essentially nothing uh, someone can sort of fake that volume and you know do uh, a, a big purchase of their own nft or their own ordinal and <laughs> you might think that you're getting a good deal but in reality you're just buying somebody's created little picture uh, so that is everything for today. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and leave a comment in the comment section if you guys have other opinions about different things. I am brand new and fresh at this. Don't consider me to be an expert in any means. I'm just as new as you guys are. 
learning with you this is kind of the way i like i I always started my youtube channel is is i like to learn with the people and kind of share my experience of what i am learning and if you guys are not patreons consider becoming a member of patreon because a lot of the gem information comes from other people on my patreon and then just in the comments section uh so keep an eye out for that stuff too all right guys i'll catch you in the next video like i'm subscribe peace out